Today they accuse us of having a deal with the Tamil National Alliance that we agreed to give them Elam and that's the reason why they help us. As the chairman of the party, I ensure you that the party has no deal with any other party. TNA said that they stand for the democracy of the country. What they told us was that they are against what the president did and they are with us for the supremacy of the parliament. There are no conditions between us other than that. <laughs> Keep in mind that we will not make any mistake again. When we win the presidential election in 11 months, we will ensure the ground level power by dissolving the local authorities and holding an election. At a time when one of the most important rulings are going to be given in this country, parliamentarians Vimal Viravansa, Gamman Pillai and Vasudevan Anakara continue to make statements in media briefings which influence the court ruling. Therefore, we hope to take measures against such parliamentarians over contempt of court and threatening courts. The constitution says that it is the parliament which has the complete control over the public funds and there is no doubt about that. Only the president can use the money of the joint fund. There should be a government for a finance minister to do this. I got to know that they are spreading word that the president is able to handle public accounts during an emergency situation. It is not correct either. Some also say there is a possibility of taking loans from foreign countries. We accept the fact that the approval of the parliament is not needed to take foreign loans, but how can you pay it back? They have to pay it from the joint fund, and for that there should be a finance minister as well as a government. That's where the issue is. <laughs>